Yes. And leave these big openings. Oh, Stop. Knockout for Ngannou. Stop. Stop. the lessons from the first fight and, and came back brilliantly in the second fight. He that was dropped nasty. him with a jab. That step was in jab. Him with the lead hand. Yeah, and then swarmed on him, had him in big, big trouble, hit him with that uppercut, and, and look at that, Stipe fired back. That was the worst thing that could have happened for Stipe, though, Joe. That was the worst thing that could have happened for yeah. Stipe. Stipe landed and thought he hurt him back. When he lands his power jab up the middle, he drops Miocic. When they're, when they're throwing here, Miocic feels like he hurts him, so then he goes, okay, I can go and look at this short left hook that just drops him. Early inside leg kick is there for Biggie Boy. Oh! Oh! It's all Rosen strike is out! And Ganu! Out bad! Out cold. Holy smoke! It's over. Look at Francis' chin, though. Look at his chin. Look at Francis' chin, though. I mean, his chin's way up in the air. He's just throwing. He's Boom! Just it's over. He's, He's just trying to connect. He's just trying to connect because he understands. You in a fight. He understands that if he hits you, you're done. He just puts you in a firefight that you can't win. He's got a bazooka and you just have a gun. I mean, look at that. This guy's just, his chin's all up here and he's just like, I'm going to hit him. And when he does, Biggie Boy goes out. Not a lot of people burning up Nick Maynard's phone to try to get a matchup with a gun. Oh! Take one more look at this left hook. I mean, just perfect on the chin. And shut him completely off. And it's Coach Fernand Lopez at the MMA factory in Paris. They bring in guys. Oh! And got him! Knocks Arlovsky down! That is it! The Predator Francis in Ganu! Live and in color! So here you see me he's fighting at range. Arlovsky fires. Just misses and Ghana comes over the top with the left and boom. Beautiful follow-up to his counter with that right hand. And look, that is not Nganu's best punch, right? That's how powerful this man is. Look, he's almost fading backwards as he lands that right hand and sends Arlovsky as a big dude flying backwards to the canvas. Oh, oh man, they stink. And I'm just sitting here. I'm like tense. Oh my god. So good. Swings and gets clipped with that right hand, and then boom, oh, right on the chin, over the top, and doesn't see it coming. And then Engano just laying down some hammer fists, and now big shots from the top. And Sagano just covers up. I think Judy is trying to match him for power, so therefore he threw everything he had. And when it didn't find the mark, he lost balance. He overcommitted. Over and over again, and then Gano is stuffing it. Each and every time. Oh, yeah, good he's bloodied up too. Oh, Enrique up. bloodied up. And you're starting to see Enrique go for the shot because he's tired on the feet. And that's the truth. And Gano with some serious oh, power. Gano knows it. Oh, he's done. Hey. That's it. That's Hit it. it. It's all over. Wow. Knockout. Francis Gano. Wow. Outstanding combinations from Gano. Look at this right hand. Sneaks through. Catches him on the temple. Had him hurt. And a barrage. Look at this left uppercut. Oh and that, that's the end of the fight right there. He, he landed one more shot afterwards, but he was completely out. He landed that one on the neck, actually. You know, you don't see a lot of four to five piece combinations from big heavyweights. Trying to second most in heavyweight history. But he told me that Curtis Blazer says, all I need to do oh! is get the Over the top with the right hand! The place recovery still won't be on his feet. Mark Goddard's taking a closer look. And Gardu's powering in. Oh, this is bad is. news. That's what? it. Francis wow. Ngannou wins in Beijing. Double quick. So Francis Ngannou hands down, waiting for Curtis Blades to step in. Boom, over the top. Right on the side of the head. Blades' legs are gone. Ngannou steps in to look for an opportunity and Blades is in on a single leg. Here we go again. 
bang over the top. Legs are gone immediately. As soon as they rock forward on their knees and land on their face, they're gonna really struggle to get their equilibrium back. And Blades is reaching here, hands on the floor, not looking at his opponent, taking big shots from Francis Ngannou. That was a good stoppage from Mark Goddard. I know he, I knew Blades was up on his feet straight away, but there was no defense to those shots that he was taking. You know, he's been here and been successful. As you mentioned, well-trained, very versatile fighter, though, Mihailovic. He's getting chased down. Big hammer fist. This could have been it's all over him. He he right up to to it. And it's all over! Just like that! He catches him here. To the body, so it looks like he went down in attempting a takedown. These aren't clean shots that landed yet. And Mihailovic gets hit there, and boom, he gets hit hard there. And he covers up after that one hard shot, and Gano's bombing on him here. These aren't getting through. It's hard to tell from this angle, because Herb Dean's obviously in our way. But Herb decided enough was enough. Let's see, there's a clean one. There's a clean hammer fist. Now, that one's blocked. Now he's covering up. One, that's covered up. And again, that one gets through to the neck. Covered up, covered up. I mean, he's doing his best to block these shots and I, I kind of see his argument there. Well, and if Hamilton can clinch and wrestle and grapple, he can change the complexion of this fight, try to extend it and gone. As much as he can do this, that benefits him. I mean, he spent his entire life wrestling. Right. Still goes back to wrestle with his old college team. Oh, Kimura attempt here from Ngannou. Man, this guy is super strong. Look at this. He has it. He got it. Wow. Francis Ngannou by submission round one. Is. He's using this to fight off the clinch as Hamilton's looking to go for a high crotch here. Just rips it, throws him to the ground, gets his base here, puts his knee on the belly, and just says, you know what, I'm going to stick this behind your back. Anthony Hamilton is not a weak man, but wow. I I incredible. Look how he uses the leverage, knee on belly, then you have to get the hand behind the shoulder blade. He did that, gets an immediate tap, and a huge, another eye-opening victory. I mean, it takes a tremendous amount of strength to rip that grip apart like that and throw a man to the floor. And an outstanding knowledge of the submission to get the finish. Much has been made of Velasquez's injuries, but in terms of his body, he's never felt more confident in it. Oh, oh he got hurt. Velasquez is hurt. That's it. That's it. closes the show. Oh, my goodness like gracious. Francis Ngannou has knocked out Cain Velasquez. Wow. Lost to Francis Ngannou. One, two down the middle. Boom. And we see, watch Cain's knee. It just gives out. Ooh, right there. Just gave out. Just slipped, gave out, and then started eating some huge punches. I mean, that's all it takes. It was the first one, two that did the trick. And then the big, heavy Nganu right here lifting up. And then the weight, and you see it slide out. The knee pop. That's it.